in this video, we're going to look at how you can go ahead and log into CloudDocket and then enter the product key and activate the product so you can start generating documentation. So the first step is to open your browser and then go to generate.cloudDocket.com. So this brings you to the page that we have here. So the first left part of the page is really login options for a SaaS portal. Um, and the SaaS portal is really the only one that where you will have to actually log in. So with the desktop version, since it's a local install, no login is required, and the container version, there's no login required either. So the the for the SaaS version, the, the what we do with the information really is we just validate that the email address that you're logging in with actually is still a, is still good and matches with the product key that has been activated, and that you're product key is not expired. These are the only validation that we do on our side, nothing more than that. And so what we approach, we decided to take with this is that instead of actually setting up a portal where you could register, enter all your information, and then we would have to keep that information for you, it, we thought it'd make it much simpler to just leverage platforms and third-party authentication providers that are already active on the market and where most people already have something set up with. So that's why we give you a free option. So you can log in with Amazon, you can sign in with Azure AD, or you can sign in with Google. And so and if we, let's look at each of them individually. So if you look at signing in with Amazon, what this means is that we redirect you to the Amazon dot com website and this is where you can actually enter the same credentials you would use to access the amazon website to do some e-commerce the, the their e-commerce platform and to do some online shopping so you would you can put in the same information here and press sign in you'll be redirected to the cloud docket website but we're going to go validate with amazon that the email address and the passwords you've provided are valid then the next option that we have is to sign in with Azure AD. So most main large organizations already have Azure Active Directory set up to manage identities, accounts, users, and so on. Um, so what we can do is we can actually leverage that to authenticate you. So first step is to select, enter your Active Directory tenant name. Uh, so you put enter your tenant name, press continue, and this redirects us to the Microsoft website where you would enter the email address and the password to access, same when you would access either the uh, the Azure portal, uh, Office 365, or sign into Microsoft services to check your outlooks and so on. The exact same credentials would be entered here. So you enter your email password, press next, and you will be logged into CloudDocket. And the last option we have is to sign in with Google. And what we mean by Google is really signing in with the exact same email and password you would use to access your Gmail account, access Google Drive or any, any Google services really. So here you would enter your email, enter your password, press next, and you will be logged into CloudDocket. So let's uh, select one. Let's go ahead with Azure AD. So I'm going to enter our organization's tenant name. We'll press continue. And we'll enter our email address. Enter password. Our organization has MFA enabled. So let me grab my phone so we could pass through this process. Excellent. And we are logged into CloudDocket. So first thing that comes to see is you actually have the prompt, the little window that popped up mentioning that, okay, well, you can buy your product, you have a product key, or you can continue in trial mode. So if you look in the upper right corner, it says welcome with your email address, which means that the login step worked successfully. However, we are in trial mode. So we don't have an active product key associated with our email yet. And the tool is in product mode, in trial mode. If you want to continue in trial mode, just go ahead, press continue in trial mode, and then you have access to all of the platforms and you can generate documentation from there. However, the trick with this is, is that we will redact 50% of the information that gets loaded in the final reports that the tool generates. So this is the only trick with the trial mode. So we, we give you the ability to test the tool just to make sure that 
you know, it does what you would expect from CloudDocket. However, we don't give you access to all of the information that can actually be retrieved afterwards. Um, so let's go back to our little product key window here. So I have a product key. So this is the case in our situation. So we have a product key. And then as you press the button, you have the enter your product key section that appears. So let's go ahead and paste our product key here. You press validate and we have the message that confirms that our product key is valid. So from here, you can cancel. If for some reason you've entered the wrong product key, you can cancel this, or you could just confirm. And it logs us on and activates our product key successfully. So as you can see in the upper right corner, we do not have that sentence saying we were in trial mode anymore. If you wanna see what product key you have, you can press the icon in the upper right corner go under account and this is going to show you what the product key is actually activated with your email address letting you know also what the expiration date on that product key is uh, so that you can actually act accordingly all of our licenses are, are for one two or three years so based on the number of years that you have selected this is going to reflect in the expiration date um, if you see that the date your expiration date is coming nearby, um, don't hesitate to reach out to our sales team, uh, sales at clouddocket.com, and they'll be happy to, to help you out extend your license, not an issue at all. And so this is it. We are logged in, we have activated our product key, and we are ready to select platform to go ahead and document our different cloud environments. And we stay tuned for our next videos. We have a lot more coming where we cover different platforms, different authentication methods. So stay tuned. Thanks.